Hello everyone, it's that time of season again, where we break down the new season of Siege. This time, it's the Season 4 Solar Raid. Now, I gotta say, this season, it's shaping up to be very good. And, uh, even though I'm keeping my expectations still kinda low, I'm quite excited for it. So, let's hope it's good. <laughs> so anyways, cutting to the chase, Operation Solar Raid. It has been on the test server since yesterday, or depending when you watch this, November 21st. And it goes live on the main builds on December 6th, which is very nice. We're back to the good old December release dates. And also Ayana's new elite is out now, so there's that as well. Go wild. Moving on to the main stuff, the new operator's name is Solace, and she is from Colombia. With her augmented reality headset that allows her to spot attacker gadgets and reveal them to not only herself, but also her teammates as well. Solis joins the defenders with an electronics detecting augmented reality headset that allows her to not just spot attacker gadgets in action, but also reveal them to her teammates. In the asymmetrical battlegrounds of Siege, Intel is power, and Solis delivers the goods. She is a 2 health, 2 speed operator with the P90, the ITA-12L, Mirror and Jackal's primary shotgun, and the SMG-11. And also she has impacts and bulletproof cameras too, so a pretty nice kit overall. So moving on even further, we have a new map once again, and it is the Nighthaven Labs map, which in my opinion, it looks really nice in general and it kind of gives off a coastline type of vibe, so I'm excited to try it out once it releases. But a major thing with this map, in my opinion, a great change as well, is that you can't ban it at launch. So for those who like to ban a new map when they come out and such and don't really like to learn it, too bad. You're gonna have to learn it regardless. <laughs> Moving on even further, the biggest addition to the season is crossplay and cross progression. Now to explain crossplay as it does in, in the video, it's only between consoles, PlayStation and Xbox, no PC. Now whilst I understand why they did this, I still think it would have been nice to maybe implement crossplay for like casual play, like quick match, deathmatch, and the upcoming arcade mode. Now cross progression is just what it says, pretty much let's say you have a PC and an Xbox account, those will be merged into one under your Ubisoft Connect account, and stuff such as your skins, your uniforms, and progression, like levels, will be available to all accounts, whether you're on PlayStation, Xbox, or your PC, whichever you do, it will all sync into one. And also for currencies such as R6 credits and Renown, they will all be added together. So no choosing the highest on which account. They will all be added together and pretty much all in one account. Moving on even further, uh, the reputation system will make its debut in the season under a beta form and is separated into five different ranks. So the first section is negative and will include the dishonorable and disruptive ranks. The second section is neutral which will just include the respectable rank. And the third section is positive which has esteemed and exemplary. Other than that, uh, something that ties into this reputation system I guess is that there is no longer friendly fire in the preparation phase, only in the preparation phase. Once it ends, friendly fire is activated. Now another big addition to the season is ranked 2.0, and instead of the occasional 10 matches for placements this time, everyone will start at the beginning, copper 5, and have to work their way up to whichever rank they want and whichever rank they desire. Now also with this, uh, there will be more rewards than just a simple charm this time around. So for instance, if you end the season as like say Platinum 2, you get the charm, but you also get stuff like alpha packs and even a card background, which is nice because it allows you to grind for something else besides the actual rank. Next up is the Battle Pass rework, and this one is kind of big too, I guess, depending on how you see it. Uh, they have pretty much completely changed how it works. So instead of just a single track like they had it since 2020, uh, pretty much they made it now so that you can actually choose your own path and pr choose the rewards that you want. So kind of like Modern Warfare 2's, but more freedom. Now I quite like this because it doesn't make it really a chore anymore to do, and it allows you to choose what you want. But regardless though, I'm probably still gonna get screwed over by the Bravo pack, so can't change that. Now if you buy the Premium Battle Pass tier, 
uh, you actually get the benefits from the old year pass, like the 10% discount on, in the shop and exclusive cosmetics, and even more, which is very nice to see again. And also with this, they are introducing drone skins, and uh, I assume there will be one in this battle pass for sure, and if not, that'd be quite disappointing. Now onto possibly the controversial part, because, you know, many people depend on this, the balancing. The first one will change how all ADS speed is for all the ops, so, for, like now, like three speeds like Ash, they can go really fast when you're aimed down sight and you're moving, whilst two speeds and three speeds pretty much go kinda slower. But with this new season, they will actually make it so that every operator is the same, so you're moving at the same pace whilst you're aimed in. So, onto operator changes, many have gotten health and speed changes in general. So, ops like Aruni are now going to be 1 speed 3 armor. Doka V0 and Sense will be all 3 speed 1 armors. Echo, Ella, and Thunderbird are going to be 2 speed 2 armors. And lastly, Osa, Mute, Malusi, Sledge, Zafia, and Thatcher will all be 1 speed 3 armors. Now, onto the last few sections of this recap. The shooting range is getting an update, including the shooting record. This basically helps you track the different weapons you used and tested, and pretty much allows you to find a good loadout. Pretty self-explanatory. Accessibility is next, and this one may seem small to many, but I, in my opinion, I think it's big for some people out there. So now, starting with this season, you can change the colors for your team and the opposite team, and it'll apply for stuff like drones, claymores, gadgets, and elite skins. And lastly, releasing mid-season will be advanced controller options. I will let the video explain this because for sure I would not explain it any better, but it definitely looks very, very interesting. Aiming is an important component for Siege, so later this season, advanced controller options will be available for console and PC players. By default, you won't see any changes to your aim. These options are uh, intended for more advanced players, so you need to go enable it in a controls option menu. You will have the range of settings to tune your aim to get the feel that you're looking for. These options uh, should help controller players to improve their gameplay performance as well as general comfort. We'll be listening to the feedback you have on this feature since our goal is to increase flexibility and comfort for different inputs that we have in the game, so stay tuned. Oh my god, that was a lot of stuff, but overall, uh, I'm pretty excited for the season, like I said in the beginning, but keeping my expectations still kind of low because you never know what could happen. I've been kind of on and off with Siege for a few weeks now, but I truly think this season will actually pull me back in, especially with, you know, cross-play and cross-progression, and uh, yeah. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. I hope this recap helped some of you if you missed the stream or if you didn't understand certain things. If it did, I would appreciate you dropping a like because I had to do so much talking for this video. <laughs> and subscribe while you're at it because there will definitely be some new Siege content on this channel in the upcoming weeks. Other than that, I hope you all have a lovely day or night and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.